Hey guys, this was late night, a couple of hours ago. Jaguar and Goomba was on the Sean Davy Way show. And they had a brawl, a knockout, dragout brawl. She was in a home. She said she's purchasing that home or she purchased the home. And Gerald said, oh, you squatting? And I thought that was, of course, it was a dig. But I wonder if there was any validity to what he said. But of course, Jaguar could not talk very civil. She was yelling and screaming. Gerald was trying to talk calmly, and then he was matching her tit for tat. If she screamed, he screamed. Then he said, I'm not going to do this with you, and he hung up. He got off alive. But basically, what she was saying is that they're married. And what he was saying is that he checked with the court. He checked with the office. He checked with a hall of records. And he said, they told him after looking it up, no, you guys are not married. It's not valid. And he was trying to calmly tell her, we are not married. We've never been married. It was not filed. So apparently they got a certificate and assume it was a marriage certificate, but in, it was not. Who knows? But all these years, four years, Gerald said they're not married. Jaguar said, yes, they are. But listen to the conversation. You remember the chain? The twins that you thought were yours? That you lied about? Let them, but your mama did the DNA test? Okay. To find out that they were yours? Jack, hold on. Let them talk. So that's Sean Davy Ray trying to calm them down because he was interviewing the both of them. You and Nikki, you and that goofy bitch that fucked that African and threw you out after you paid the bills. You having fun over there in the low life? Jack, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We have to let, hold on. Hold on, one second, one second, one second. Goomba, how you doing? Jack, calm down. Jack, chill, chill. Hold on, Jack. Jack, you got to I can't it. This is a little sidebar, folks. All over America, people squat in abandoned property. They drive around and they look for empty homes and they occupy those homes until maybe the owners come or a relative come by or maybe the authorities Somebody report them squatting in the house and then the cops come and tell them they have to move. They don't arrest the person, but they just tell them you can't stay here. You have to move. And it happens all over America. A lot of homeless people do that. No, Wait, you told me that my name wasn't going on the police. And you also told me that well, what therapist? What therapist? Same thing as well. What so, therapist? You know, who are you talking about? We're here to check all the lights. When I talked to the realtor earlier today, he got really excited, so he said that we could but stay anyways, in the count. Boy, yeah. Sean, you, what can you check for us, Nicole? Yeah. How you Sam! Doing, all right? Sam! Jack, okay. Now, why would she want to call her son into this mess when she knows that things like this might be a trigger for him? Okay, well, I have a question, Goomba. Goomba, Goomba, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. Hold on. Goomba. Okay. All right. So, you and Jack haven't spoke. Okay. She's going around saying that you blew up a car. Is that true? <laughs> you guys noticed he didn't answer. I mean, if it was anybody that got that question, they would say, are you kidding? Are you serious? I would never do something like that. 
but he did not answer the question. And those are some serious allegations because if it's true, he can go to jail. Next is that true? I blew up a car. Well, it's just it's what she's been saying. So well, I just feel like whenever, whenever the investigation happens, then we'll we'll have that conversation. Then. Oh, ooh, okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Jack can't play. Oh. Um, Goomba, are you seeing another woman? No. Next question. <laughs> no, no, I'm not seeing an another woman. She's actually a friend. She's a friend. Jack, see, she's a friend. Look at that. Look at that. But why would he have to explain himself to Jack? They are separated. As a matter of fact, she has cheated on him with in the marriage. And they're separated right now so he can do whatever he wants to do. She's a friend. Go ahead. Hi, Sam. Oh, my God. Now, Jaguar deliberately called Sam so Gerald can have a conversation with Sam and she can belittle him in front of Sam. But Gerald did not acknowledge Sam. And, you know, guys, when you're done with a relationship, that's how it is. You can love that child with all your heart. But when you're done with a relationship, you not only walk away from the mother or the father, but that child. That's how it is with um, outside people coming in. Like Gerald is not Sam's father. So when he's done with the mother, he's done with the child. Most relationships are like that. Very rare do people still get involved in the child's life, even when they're not the biological parent. When it's over, it's over, it's done. So Gerald is willing to not only walk away from Jaguar, but Sam also. Hi, Sam. Jaguar, be nice. Poor guy. It's a shame you're not here. So Jaguar is still trying to get him back. She threw that bait out, letting him know that she missed him. Because you can say I miss you in more than one way. But let me tell you, Gerald is done, da done, done, done. He said, so you can kill me? And so with that, you guys are going to see where she makes a complete turnaround, where she just wants his neck at this point. Because there's nothing worse than a woman who has been rejected. Why, so you can kill me? Oh, God. There will be none of that in this house. Oh, I'm sure it wouldn't be. We came not in, in here. Today, I'm, I'm, and I'm, we came I'm not for not this to be, And you're manipulating. Not only we came for this to be crazy. How am I manipulating my son? Did you send him for certification? I couldn't quite make that out, but he said something about recertification. What? Sir, what are you talking about certification? Are we married? Are we married? Jack of course we're married. You can call that question a baited question. He baited her to say, of course we're married, and now he's going to show her proof that they're not. Oh, now you don't know about a certification? <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know about a certification. No, we're not. Gerald, that picture that I posted I the clerk's office, was right yeah, after we got married. And then we went down to the register. Like so this sounds as though they had to recertify something. And because they did not do it, they were never legally married. And we signed it down at the register's office. We paid for it. We got the real one that's all the way printed. And then we got the one that we used to track. Why are you talking over me? You asked me a question, I try to answer, and now you're talking over me. She's the one who is really talking over him because he started to tell her about why they're not married, and it has to do with their recertification, and she was talking over him. Okay, what well, you, you answered. Now we're let married. him answer. You know we're married, so why are you tripping? Okay, now let Goomba talk to Goomba. Oh, hi, Sam. Poor Sam. Poor guy.
That's Sean Davy Ray addressing Sam because he's an innocent bystander. Have to listen to this foolishness. Instead of his mom telling him, Sam, you don't have to be here, she actually called him to be in the presence of all this mess. We are not married, according to the county of Dallas, Texas. That marriage was not okay, certified, sure. Jacqueline. According to the county of Dallas, Texas, the marriage was not certified. That's what Gerald is trying to tell her. Okay, whatever you think. You well, still smoking that fentanyl weed. You look well, crazy. I, I can't keep doing this, Sean. You look I like a whole fucking husband. homeless person. On IG. You look like a whole fucking homeless yeah. person. You look a fucking mess. <sighs> Do you see how crazy he is? Yeah. He knows we're married. And you see how he ran? Yeah, if it's not certified then show proof that it's not certified. But I remember going down to the registrar's office because I paid for it the same day I paid for that. It was the same day we got our, our tattoos done. I paid for everything. He didn't have any money. Well, I feel it's just, you know, he don't want Sam to come. To the Why? He has a hard time facing his, his stepson? No. I just he abandoned? Hard, he I abandoned? To be with, to hard be, hard to be with, uh, to be with, um, Ready Rock and, and fucking Bay Bay Kids when we needed him, when we asked for him to come, and he said, I'm good on my own, and, and that's where you ended up. We're doing just fine without him. Hi, Uncle Miss Back. Hi, Goomba. Let's try this one more time. All right, so now I see we're doing just fine without him. I can hear things right. So I'm not embarrassed about Sam. I don't, you know. That that part right there doesn't bother me. I'm I'm upset because you're bringing Sam into our relationship. Yeah. That we so called were married. Once again, I went to the clerk's office and I filed for it and didn't get anything. No wonder you couldn't get on the on the uh, benefits. Hmm. Because the marriage was not legitimate. So it's all coming out now. She could not get on his benefits that he's receiving from the government as a wife as a spouse because the marriage, Daryl said, was not legit because they checked. Trust and believe the government is going to check. And if they see that, okay, recertification wasn't done, these people are not legally married. And this is why she couldn't get on his benefits. That's what he's saying. So now Miss Jaguar has a rude reality, a rude awakening that she was living in sin for four years. So now She's going to really turn on him. Jackie? You're a fucking liar, Gerald. Whatever, Jackie. You just upset that you found that out, right? You're a fucking liar, Gerald. I'm not about to play your game. I'm not about to play your game. You're saying all this for what? Stop talking about... Mama told you. Stop talking about Dominic. Stop talking about me. Stop talking about my family. Stop talking about me. Stop talking about Mike. Stop talking about Jessica. Stop talking about everybody. You're going to jail for arson, You know what? You're going to jail for arson. We will see... After the investigation, so it doesn't really matter. And if that's the case, I will accept my Then deny it now and sue me. Deny it now and sue me. You are one of the highest class narcissists. You pay for getting and then you put the case in a cold bottle. It was a cold bottle. You used it as a accelerant to blow up your car, and you know it because I got pictures. Okay, Jack. Okay. Okay. You blew up that car. Okay. Now let Goomba. Let and that bitch helped you. And the yeah, both of y'all can go to jail. You're a fucking arsonist. Like you blew up the car, Jackie. You're a fucking arsonist. Just like King World blew up the car, Jackie. Come on. No, you blew up the car. No, ma'am. Yeah, you did. You like came back to the like room. Like I said, we'll, we'll see like that gasoline with your knuckles cut up. I had my, to sit there and just sit there. My knuckles are not put, cut up at all. Knuckles. What do you mean they're not, not cut up at all? That was a fucking uh, month and a half ago, you idiot. Not, well, I would have some scarring somewhere, that right? That was a month ago. I would have of course they're not cut up. That was a month ago, oh, idiot. I would have scarring, correct? Oh, I tell you. There's and no what kind of drugs are you hands. doing today? No scarring on my hands at all. After no a month, I would hope not. After a month, I would hope not. If it's your hands were still injured after a month, 
something would be wrong with the way you're back. I'm going to mute both people really quick. I'm just saying because once Sam is here, you know, he's right there. You know, so let, I mean, if y'all going to have this conversation, because you guys don't have to, like, we could just, you know, end it right here. Because it's, again, like, this is y'all life, you know. And again, Sam is here, you know. Um, so if you're going to have a conversation, just, if we could do it calmly, you know, with Sam being in the room, you know, especially. Um, he's an adult, so if he wants to sit there, he has that right. Um, so, but if Sam wants to leave, Sam, just know you you can leave. You, you don't have to stay. But if you want to, you can. You absolutely can, Sam. So, because you're an adult, so I want to give you that option. So, um, but um, let's just, you know, I get it. Y'all mad. I get it. Um, but let's just, I'm going to mute both of, you, both of you. Just talk, you know. Once again, um, once again, we will see you after the investigation. And you blew up the car, you came back to the room smelling like gasoline. You gave me a story, you told me you didn't really remember what happened because you were drunk. We were both drunk. It was a crazy night. We went to sleep. We saw the shit on the news together, and you sat there and pretended like you ain't know what it was. You're really sick. You're a sick puppy. You blew up that car to scare me into staying with you because you wanted me to believe that I was only safe with you so you could take me and corral me in and keep me away from everybody and keep me away from the world. And you blew up our fucking car just like you beat up our fucking dog. And you won't get the dog back. You do nothing to get the dog back, but that's okay because I'm going to report him stolen, and I'm going to get him back. So no, now he's in the yard. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, now King no, has no, a beautiful no, yard to live in. Once again, can I speak, please? No, you won't, because the true story about the dog is yes, the man unlocked himself, and yes, the man was separating from his wife. But guess what? His girlfriend on the side was a stripper. And guess what? She left the city with the dog. So therefore, you will never get the dog back again. So you can stop yeah. talking about the dog. And you weren't going to go to Lubbock anyways to find nobody and threaten him about a dog. You threaten to wow. kill somebody about a dog. Yep, my dog. I want my dog back. And I'm going to get him. I'm done with you, Jackie. God bless you. Have God the best life. You have Philadelphia. You have all the passwords. You have all the money that you spent. I don't have all the passwords because you, you gave me the wrong passwords. passwords. You're still jacking my shit. But I'm filing for a restraining Thank order tomorrow you, against you. Husband. You, Lawfully Thank wedded you. husband. Restraining order. I want to ask you a question, Sean. Did he deny anything? Jackie, yeah, not necessarily. No, did you hear him say, no, I didn't do it? No. I called him an arsonist. I described to him what he did because it was photographed. And he didn't deny it. He didn't say no. But I'm the liar. To every person watching who thinks they know my marriage, who thinks they know who my husband really is, the only husband that you know, Goomba, I invented. I invented him so y'all would wow. accept him. Everything y'all fell in love with, just like with Jill Scott, I created. That's what I do. I create people. I've been doing it for years. I am a master at my craft. Thank you for letting me know how good and effective I am at what I do because y'all fell for it. He's a piece of shit loser over there with that fucking bitch, with them fucking raggedy ass fucking kids. And y'all saw the look in his face. He was about to cry because he was supposed to be this beautiful home with us. And instead, he's over there with a loser and some fucked up janky ass kids. <laughs> and now, we were just live, and he couldn't deny that he didn't blow up that car. <sighs> what do I got to be mad about? 
I'm in Shangri-La. He's the one that's going to hell. And I'm not divorcing. He says you're not married. Well, I mean, he's fucking crazy. You're gonna believe a fucking guy that blows up his own fucking car? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Are you 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 fucking kidding me? If you're capable of blowing up your own fucking car and then sitting there and acting innocent in front of all of fucking America, you don't think you're capable of lying about a marriage certificate? Matter of fact, if you're capable of doing something like that, and he is because he did it, you're capable of doing anything. Sorry, Goomba was an illusion. But thank you for letting me know that I'm still excellent at what I do. You're all the stupidest motherfuckers I ever met in my life. Now go take this, cut it up, do whatever you want to do. You're going to get striked if you steal the fucking content. It is what it is. Fuck y'all. We run YouTube. He's a fucking loser. And y'all fell for it! <laughs> Don't nobody fucking touch me for free. I'm not a game. I told them niggas at that barbershop. I told my husband, I told the Soto police, and y'all just watched me wreck a whole fucking country town all by myself. And all it took was a couple shots to the ribs and some loud words. All of you are big mad. I have created the world that you're so heavily engrossed in. Fuck reporting the news, bitch. I am the news. Sean, do we need to feed the fish anything else? Um, I think we're pretty good. I'm going to walk around my new house. And I'm going to look at those kids upstairs, loving their room, trying to figure out where they're going to hang their, their paintings because we, we, bought, we bought artwork with us. Just does. Yeah, this place is going to be so fucking beautiful. And you know what? It's gonna stay beautiful. Because that ugly losing fucking piece of shit ass arson is ain't gonna be here to ruin it for me. What if he decided that he needed to prove to me that he was in control and decided to burn his house down? Oh, no. He burned my car down. What's a house? Oh. Bitch, you can have him. But if I was you, I'd remove all flammable shit. I, I would get the kids out of the house if you're going to keep them around. Matter of fact, if anybody know that dumb bitch, call CPS, because that nigga's an arsonist, and he beats on animals. Oh, God. And he admitted it. And as far as the arson goes, he didn't deny it. My, my, my. Quite the lituation. Quite the lituation. It's starting to get a little chilly. I think I'm going to put some logs in the backyard. I'm going to start a fire. Checking Just on that fire. Oh, well, I don't intend on burning anything down, you know. I hope not. <laughs> <sighs> well, thanks for coming, sweetie. Oh, and by the way, to all of you people who think I'm so broke that I live in my car. I live in my car. Keep thinking it. Keep making, keep making me homeless. Keep making me broke. Please. Please do. Man, it must suck to be y'all. <laughs> Fucking wrong, wrong, wrong. <laughs> Cause a pussy on good never. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to get this for. I can't wait to fly you out here so you can come to the house. Hey, I you definitely want to come, come now. Y'all want me to go visit Jag? Y'all want me to go visit Jag? I'll make you brunch and we'll have champagne cocktails on my veranda. Uh, That's a veranda. I love it. Good things happen to good people. 
Now I want you all to think about your fucking nasty, fucking trifling ass lives that you're living in right now. And I want you to think about every fucking thing that you've had to say about me and mine. And I want you to know that even if I sleep on the floor tonight in this beautiful house, it's still 10 times better than you ever had. See that? He was blowing up my car and I was buying beautiful houses. Mm. The best revenge is success. And 25 years of fucking jail for arson. All right, I'll see you, babe. Um, call me later. I will. Trust and, 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 tell, and tell his new girlfriend. A marriage? That's what that word. So nice to know that he's not going to be here to put holes in my walls. Or to burn a hole in my couch. Or put out cigarette butts. Oh. You answer. Now let we're him answer. You know we're married. So why are you tripping? Okay, now let Goomba talk. To Goomba. I invented. So, YouTubers, there you have it. Goomba and Jaguar had a big fight on the Sean Davy Ray show. They called in and confronted each other. So, as it stands now, both of them are believing different things about their marriage. Uh, Jaguar believed that she was married legally. And Gerald believed they were not married. One of the subscribers dropping in the comments that what they had was a certificate, not a license. Allegedly, they had to file for the license within a certain period of time, and they did not file. So this is where we stand now. Guys, drop it in the comments. What do you think the next move is going to be? Are they going to get lawyers? For the lawyers to iron it out because this is a big discrepancy so guys drop your comments i'm over now don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and to this video thank you for watching